the topic of improving your high speed running, one of the most effective methods I've found uh, with the program is short rep running. So doing uh, efforts of 60 meters, 70 meters, 80 meters, 90 meters, 100, 120 and 150s. Um, you break them up. Work to rest ratio should be anywhere between one to one, one to one and a half and one to two. So that's if you're doing a, 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 a let's say a 150 meter effort, it takes you 30 seconds. You give yourself at least 30 seconds rest, uh, maybe a 45 second rest or up to a minute. So the priority is intensity and, and by intensity, I mean how fast you're moving when we're focusing on high speed running capacity. For those that are elite, we can do things like jog returns um, or shorter rest periods because they'll still be able to produce high speed uh, and intensity with shorter rest periods due to their uh, the years that they've done the work, their aerobic capacity and their ability to handle that intensity is far greater to those that have just been working on it for um, maybe their first preseason or, or second or third. But some some key things to do when, you, when you've got a program or a workout ahead and you're about to hit the track, just simply divide the distance that you're traveling. So let's say you're doing 100 meter reps, you've got 10 100 meter efforts by the meters per second that you um, need to maintain to get the stimulus. So for uh, adult men, to get high speed running um, from our GPS on how we look at it, we, we follow the research, which is 5.5 meters per second. You divide 100 by 5.5 meters per second, and that will give you an 18 second target. And that's what we need to do if we want to try and get exposure to that, um, that speed of running. If it's a little bit less for junior athletes, maybe you go 4.5 meters per second, for example, then you'll get a different target. Um, so it gives you a, a, something to focus on in terms of uh, how fast your rep should be, but also how long you should be resting. So for those going for 18 seconds with their work, you want to have a minimum of 18 seconds rest. Um, so you can yeah, replenish, recover enough to be able to go at that speed again. Simple answer, whether you're recovering enough, enough is are you moving the same? So the quality of movement is, is just as good as the rep before, and are you hitting the target? If you're not, then rest longer as rest period allows intensity. So remember, short rep running, 60 meter efforts, 70 meters, 80, 90, 100s, all the way anywhere up to 150 usually is pretty good. Um, and for those high speed efforts, uh, have a target. So look at your, your workout, your training session that you've got for that day and break down what targets you need to hit for those meters. So you know you can consistently hit the speed um, every rep. And that's really, really important. High speed running repeat speed session should be done at a minimum once per week in the off season, preseason. So that's another thing. Make sure you're getting weekly exposure uh, at this quality. For those that uh, like speed forward, speed defenders that are really focusing on it and need to um, uh, develop this area, I'll do throw in an extra high speed repeat speed session every fortnight. So rather than doing two over the fortnight, they'll end up covering three. Uh, so they get a couple of sessions extra exposure over a month. Uh, the reason we wouldn't go doing more than you know two two times of repeat speed a week is due to the uh, stress on the joints and, and hamstrings, hip flexors that repeat speed running has. Um, so we need to respect that with some longer recovery uh, in between efforts. So any more than two um, puts you in a, a potential risk for a soft tissue injury like hip flexor, quad, hamstring. Um, so forth. So make sure you respect these sessions and you're focusing on that quality movement and hitting your targets. In terms of the podcast this week, we have um, our interview with Kelvin Giles that I did last week that will be published on the podcast on Wednesday. Uh, unbelievable uh, episode, one of the favorite. It's a, he's a pioneer, particularly in rugby and track and field. Uh, real uh, inspiration, his passion. Um, for someone that's been in the industry for nearly 50 years is um, through the roof amazing. So for anyone that works in this field of sport, make sure to check it out or any coach for that matter. And certainly for the athletes, make sure you tune in as, as uh, Kelvin talked about athlete development and some of the key focuses, not only for um, athletes, but also for parents of young developing athletes to focus on to maximize your potential. Uh, on Thursday, I've got a, another massive show, uh, episode. We've got Alex Moore. He worked at the Brisbane Lions during their heyday and the premiership days. He then went to the Cleveland Cavaliers and worked with LeBron James, Kevin Love, uh, and had some real success over there during their uh, some of their prime days with, with championships at LeBron James. 
and then he came over, worked with uh, the Kangaroos, and then now he's with the Illawarra Hawks. So he's a, a well-known name in the industry of strength and conditioning uh, and, and a real expert when it comes to strength and power and, and high performance uh, management. So really looking forward to catching up with Alex. That will be this Thursday for those listening to the podcast. If you're listening live, it's uh, in a week's time uh, as I'm streaming live now at Thursday at two o'clock. So it'll be next Thursday at 1.30 p.m. our interview with Alex Moore. And then this Sunday, we've got Tom Van Kalken. Our bite-sized episode will be released. That was from our uh, recently collaborative live event with uh, high school strength and conditioning coaches. So he's the head strength and conditioning coach for Geelong Grammar. So make sure to tune in for that one. If you're listening to this recording, the live uh, show with social influencers has already uh, occurred. So it's it was hosted last Friday. If you're listening live, it's tomorrow. So make sure to tune in to join myself, Paydos, Jetmates, a nine to five fitness and prime train at 3 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time on Friday. So make sure to tune in for that one. You will not want to miss it. If you have missed it, you can watch the recording on our YouTube channel. And then on upcoming Sundays, we'll uh, release a bite-sized episode from each of the segments. So we're going to talk about all things to do with building a social media presence, how to build an online brand and, and produce uh, high quality content. So these are some of the biggest um, brands from a social media point of view in Australia. So really looking forward to learning off these guys. Uh, and hopefully you guys will, will get something out of it as well, whether you're trying to just boost your social media following yourself, or maybe you've got an online business um, and social media is part of your marketing, um, then this would be no doubt some some power tips will come through that you can transfer into your um, Instagram or, or TikTok uh, and YouTube um, as, will, as will no doubt um, provide some hot tips during that show.